All right, so we're gonna try that pizza oven that I keep seeing on YouTube. We're gonna get two of these, 24 inch step stone. And the next thing we're gonna get is probably 50 to 60 of these uh, pavers. All right, so we got the building material back. We're gonna start, I think right over here is where I'm gonna put it. Um, all you need, you don't even need it if you don't wanna have it truly level, but I'm gonna try to get it as level as possible. Stone rake and level. All right, let's start building this thing. All right, now what you want to do is try to level it best you can here. It's pretty close. i raise that up a little bit. So it has to come up a little bit in the front. So I'm going to do nothing fancy here, just lift that up. Try to get some more rocks up here to the front. We'll keep some under here for support. Much better. And that's good enough. All right. So what you want to do is just kind of keep on. All right, so what you want to do is just keep on stacking these. Just follow the pattern you started. to let every other course kind of hang off like this. Get that one on. And put your next one on that holds that one up. So that way the unsupported end doesn't fall. All right, once you get up to about this point here, you're gonna to wanna to get your other flat paver stone, the 24 by 24. Be careful these are, these are heavy. 
What you're gonna want to do is lay it on here. And so I left this one teetering, and this one will go into place as I set it down. You can always make some adjustments once it's on there. Notice back here, what I'm gonna do is leave a gap between so the flame can vent up and the heat can get into the box of the oven. This is where the pizza will sit. Move this one back slightly too, to allow a little more ventilation. All right, now with your actual pizza stone paver set, you can start putting on the these top blocks, and these are for the box where your pizza will set in. You don't want this to be too big, because this is the area you're heating up. The bigger it is, the more heat it requires. And another thing I did on the sides of it, if you can see here, I took a brick out to allow ventilation to be able to get in there and feed the flame. And like I said, the biggest step here, leave this gap, allow the flame and the heat to come up inside the box here. I'll keep that open. Make sure these are all tight, because this is where the heat wants to be trapped where you want to trap the heat. These ones I'm not staggering the joints on. The top stone will keep these in place. I also pulled another brick out in the back here just to help feed the flame. I'm gonna try it with too high. That's plenty of room for the pie to get in there. All right, we got our fire going. As you can see, it's burning good. You can see in the back, the flames are coming up through, which is good, that's exactly what we want. Now let's check the temperature of this thing, see if it's working. All right, so we're on the stone there where the pizza will be sitting, and we're looking about 420, 435. I lit it about 20 minutes ago. Not bad. We'll check back here shortly. All right, now I got the pizza oven going. Put our pizza in here and see how it cooks.